you're saying. All we've got to do is go to Google now and set the best. Yeah. Well. <laughs> all right. So does anyone have any questions on certain tips or things they want me to elaborate? Yes. So do you make more money off of prints or okay. commissions? All right. So he asked if I make more money off of prints or commissions. Commissions by far. That's because people love the original artwork and the attention that you uh, give to each person. And so uh, if anyone has any uh, advice that they want about doing commission, yes. Um, what is the retail for like the one too? Pardon? The retail for the one Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think a lot of these tips, they're just basic marketing tips. I just said how to sell art just to kind of grab the artist alley market. But this, I mean, this definitely applies to anyone. Trust me, I work with a ton of different businesses that do all sorts of things, and the marketing is just the same. Just get yourself out there, stand out, communicate with people. Um, and about the commissions, you know, sometimes you, you need to know like how fast you draw, or how much you can take on, or how, like, if you have trouble pricing, just start off at a base, and then see if you're comfortable with it. You know, move around, adjust if, you know, too many people are coming, or too little people are coming. You know, it's just trial and error, of course. Anything? Yes. Oh, I actually remember the first time that I went to and sold my art, I didn't have any prints, all I did was commissions, and she was there, so um, I made $350 in half a day, oh. basically, and it was because I was being like, nice and talking to people, and I had to keep ears on, and, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just like, just doing everything, and I'm like, why am I not making money now? And it's because I've gotten really dull. <laughs> oh! <laughs> like, last time, I literally hid, like, we shared a table, and I hid behind her stuff, but I would be um, like, she sells really cool stuff, and this aww. one lady out of nowhere, like,
I'll walk around the other artist alley and get an average of the other prices. Uh, definitely compare yourself to people of your skill level, though. You have to just be honest with yourself and just work from there. Uh, I sell knitted stuff at my art table. Cool. And one way I know how to price is, um, like my hats are six dollars, and if someone commissions me for a hat, I take into consideration the postage needed to get it to that person. Yep. How much it's going to take to buy the yarn if they if they if they want colors that I don't have already. Yeah. Which is about two fifty for a skein. So you just got to take into consideration just what kind of materials will you'll need, and then that's the price your commission is from there. Yeah, she was just mentioning that she sells knitted mm -hmm. materials, and you can. Basically, what she said was to um, keep an idea of how much it costs to get all those materials and just price it from there. Make sure you make a pretty good profit, but you're not you know, gouging people. And, and how much it is to get it to them. Oh, yeah, and postage, of course. Just keep in mind all the costs and then just go from there. Uh, your first convention, whenever you were trying to do the uh, convention. Yes. All right, how did you base your time off of? Because okay. I know me, I'm still kind of trying to get to the point where I can draw a picture in a day. Oh, okay. So are you talking about how did I you know? your time and whatnot, especially if you're doing your first time. Um, okay, if this is your first convention and someone asks you for a commission, just take that one commission and, you know, just right. work on it. I mean, it's kind of hard to answer the question uh, because everyone's so different. Yeah. But usually, I'll I'll take all the commissions. And, I mean, I draw really fast, so it's kind of hard. But I would just start on that first commission and then see, you know, what's your pace, what you're comfortable with. If you're not comfortable with it, you know, just start selling prints, or you can actually offer to do either portraits or original characters, or both. You know, if someone wants to do a portrait and you can't do portraits, just tell them. Like, oh, oh, I actually can't do portraits, but I can do original characters. And of course, when you have to object something, like if someone asks for a portrait and you can't do it, just mention what you can do. Like, don't ever just say, oh, I can't do portraits. You want to add that, but I do do original characters. 